this team, you could say, you know, they are technically subpar in terms of the guys that they've got, but they continue to find ways to win. I mean, he's so mature in the way he approaches the game, and he's so calm, cool, collected. I mean, every time he's out there, you feel like the guy can get it up, done, pull it off. When we first started, I said I had to worry for the Rams, and they've just proved everyone wrong, and they've been going about it quietly. Actually, a bit more quietly than every other team on here. I feel like there is a little bit of, hey, Aaron, where'd you go? Things good? How's it going for you, sort of thing. What's up, everybody? Welcome to 888 Sport. And the NFL is at crunch time right now. It's that business end of the season. So we're going to rank our top five teams that we hope can get into the playoffs. I'd like you to rank these teams. I'm going to start with a team near and dear to my heart, okay. the Houston Texans. Uh, say it with pride when you say it. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Denver Broncos. Okay. Right? The Packers. Mm, Green Bay. The Packers. Jordan Love Fest. Yeah. Uh, the Rams. Yeah. Sean McVay coming to life. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right? The challenge is real. The Colts. Who doesn't like Minshew Mania? I didn't do it for you, George. <laughs> I'm doing it for the people. And a team that I don't know how much we like. I'm talking about me personally. The Falcons. Okay. The Falcons. Yeah. Okay. I want to hear about your issues with the Falcons. Mm. I'm just, I just, you know, in the, when you talk about the playoffs, you just want good matchups. You don't want one team to get in there versus another, and it's an easy win. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's why I'm thinking like that. Before we do the big reveal, which I know you're waiting for, please subscribe to the channel. We got new content dropping every single week, and it's always entertaining. All right, fellas, on three, we turn. One, two, three. Okay, okay. okay. I forgot what my list was. Is that <laughs> how it is? I wow. All right, all right. This is testament to the fact that we all just copy off each other. <laughs> wow. You know, I mean, okay. There was no I'm, cheating involved here. Uh, tell me why the Colts, really. <laughs> okay, come on. Let, 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 let's talk about the Colts for real, right? Mm -hmm. Shane Steichen, first time head coach. Yeah. Yes, it's very dear to my heart. <laughs> um, if we, we actually need to pay attention. To I bet you call him too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Speed down. In the DMs, I'm man. Speed down. I'm, I'm there. You know First that. name terms? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. First Shane. Right. Um, but we actually have to look deeper than what we're seeing, deeper than the 7-5 and five record or deeper than whatever their record is at the time because they don't have their number one quarterback. Mm -hmm. for, they haven't had him for the majority of the season, nor have they had their two starting cornerbacks in Dallas Flowers and Juju Brents to long-term injury. They didn't have JT for most of the season and he's out again right now. This team, you could say, you know, they are technically subpar in terms of the guys that they've got, but they continue to find ways to win. At this point in the season, it's about, you know, how you finish, not how you start. So my only and, question to oppose that yep. mid-flow, why should is that what you want or is that what you think is going to I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Of course I think it's going to happen. Me, I believe me, I believe let me get you. the team. I mean, let me get let me get you. Let me get me cuz you're 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 the fan. So let me I'm not a fan. <laughs> right, yeah. So let me let me tell you why I like it. And in some of these points he's covered. AR went down. JT we didn't know what was going on. There was a lot of things going off the cuff there. No one knew what was happening. He came back balled out. He's got injured. People thought he was going to derail again. They're still going. That sausage machine is turning and turning and turning. And then they're getting an outcome. Machine. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got the outcome. They got the outcome. And for me, out of these, I think they're the ones that have got that consistency. And I think, like George said, it is what's happening right now. No one's talking about this Colts defense. Nobody. We are so underrated. Why are we not talking about it? So, they are so underrated. 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 So underrated. DeForest Buckner, Quiddy Pay. Obviously, Leonard's gone now, but you've got guys in the, in the linebacker. Yeah. yeah, guys who are, f the Colts are second at this you time. Gotta, second you got to double right DeForest Buckner every single day. Of course, day. exactly, right? So, I mean, we're not one of those teams that come to the, the top of the people's mouth, and I get that. Yeah. But the numbers don't lie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Second Underlying and five right numbers now. are quite compelling, I think, for the Colts. And right now, we're getting it done. Yeah. I, mean, I will say this, man. It comes down to our viewing pleasure. <laughs> was, was, this is what I care about. Yeah. And in all honesty, team building. Yes. This is why you get a backup quarterback like Gardner Minshew. Mm -hmm. Minshew mania is real. Mm -hmm. He is exciting. Mm -hmm. Even when it's not a good game, mm -hmm. he's a play away from something fantastic happening. And when you talk about the playoffs, you want hope. You want belief. You want to feel like you have a chance. Minshew gives you that. As a fan and as a team, 
I like y'all pick at the top for that. That that's cool. Um, since we're all kind of rolling with the Texans there, mm-hmm. except one of us. Well, you know, he's he's at number two, but you know, we're, yeah, gonna, yeah, we're, let's talk about the Texans right yeah. now because we're we're right there at the top. What do you think? It's a sweetheart thing, isn't it? Like I feel like they've won a lot of people over this season. I think a lot of people didn't think they'd come this this correct, mm. and it's kind of similar with you guys, where it's like if you got a quarterback that you love to watch mm. and you feel like at any moment there could just be something where everyone goes, yep. did he just cement? like a first season mm. legacy yep. straight in there. Yeah, yep. he did. And also because it's the Texans and like everyone, I feel like they're kind of like everyone's second team, if that makes mm. sense. Everyone's like, you, they're not offensive enough to anyone that yeah. anyone goes, oh, well, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Dallas, you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No one can, Dallas is like saying, well, like Manchester United little fans little. hate this guy. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, who cares? Like yeah. that's, that's okay to me. I don't mind that. The guys on that team who people weren't necessarily aware of, Tank Dell, Collins, Nico Collins, they signed Dalton Schultz from the Cowboys. They seem to, again, they're finding ways to win. Offense, special teams, defense. Yep. And at this point in the season, you can't lie. These teams are getting it done and I'm very, very confident in the Texans Momentum too. is a thing as well, right? Yes. Like it's the momentum at this point in the season where I feel like they're building that head of steam at just the right moment and things are beginning to... Click. You know what? You know what? We talked about this, Jay Bell, probably, oh, I don't know, a few weeks back when we were talking about the rookie QBs, yeah. right? And... Um, there was some question marks on this panel about about Stroud. Not right. for me, boy. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I was like, no, there's something. There's something there. And for such a rookie to be looking like a leader that's been playing in this league for so long. I mean, he's so mature mm. in the way he approaches the game. And he's so calm, cool, collective. I mean, every time he's out there, you feel like the guy can get it out, done, pull it off. I will say this. I mean, he's one of the best passers in the league mm. right now. Poised. And yeah. when you're talking about playoffs, because that's what we're focused on, what happens? You've got to have a drop back passing game. But we're forgetting one element of this team. They can run the ball. Yeah. Their run attempts are high. They're significant. When you talk about explosive offenses in the NFL right now, all of them have a resemblance or they stick to the running game to set up the play action pass. And they are right there with that. Think about this offense. Where does it come from? San Francisco. How do they look? Explosive, fun. That's what we want to see in the playoffs. And that quarterback, C.J. Stroud, is here to stay. And D'Amico Ryans, like you said, what he's done to this organization, come in there and change the culture. That's what we want in playoffs. Teams that can come back over and over. Texans are right there, man. For sure. For and obviously it's – you know, it's my squad. <laughs> yeah, it's my yeah. team. Or if you're guys. Rams. Ram, yeah, where are you at Rams with the Rams? Fun. I kind of went similar with the Rams. Oh, you're Colts. So you're, yeah, you, you've been Rams covered. Okay. okay, let's go to Packers then. Sorry, let's go to Packers. Let's go to Packers. I voted you guys off. It's about, <laughs> it's about what we got going on over here. Oh, wow. I see how this is. The Packers are doing I mean, the Packers, Jordan Love, is he's coming along really well. I mean, bear in mind, the guy had to sit you know, behind Rodgers and, and wait his turn. Mm-hmm. But he's showing up. He's doing real well. And bear in mind, they've been winning games without their main money back, um, Aaron Jones, who's had his fair share of injuries. Um, and we, you just mentioned it, the run game is important to set up the play action. Yeah. Um, but they've got guys who are- they That run that, game looks strong. Yeah, they do. And it, again, we keep we come back to the same thing. It's this point in the season, you can kind of brush aside earlier on in the season where teams weren't doing too well. If you're on form now, momentum, and you're getting them wins, you carry that through to the playoffs, Anything can happen. And the Packers are up there 100%. It's yeah. the Packers as well. So you kind of <laughs> want to see someone struggle against them. People yeah. have fallen in love with love. And it's also that... Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's good. Love with love. It, <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like there is a little bit of, hey, Aaron, where'd you go? Things yeah. good? How's it going for you? Sort of thing. I, I don't like think that. they're worried about that. I don't even think that has anything to do with this, with Aaron Rodgers. And I think that's what makes them the story. I, when you talk about team building, when you talk about the philosophy... Now you finally see LaFleur's true offense that Aaron's right. gone. He has left the building. One thing they've said around there is they like their quarterback. They've always been behind Love. So now that he's playing well, they will rally. The troops will respond. When something happens, when they need to pick it up, they'll do that because of their quarterback and their relationship with him. And you're right. Who doesn't want to see the Packers in the playoffs? Yeah. Who doesn't want to see a playoff game exactly. in Green Bay? Exactly. You know, not, not that I'm it's going to happen. I'm still, I'm still there. Cool. You guys got him high. I, I've not got him that as high. Still, He's four, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They only got five on the yeah, list. Four, five. Five. They're four, all five. high. Hey, I put them, yeah, listen, I put them in there. I, don't think, I didn't have them as high because I st- I'm still not convinced. I know you said about that. They're coming into that bit of form. Ooh. I still don't think it's quite there. Like I, when you watch the whole game of a Packers, it, the sort of fluidity, if I can say that right, is not quite there. 
What do you have to be convinced yeah. about? Was what I'm saying. Do you want to see them in the playoffs? I, I do want. To, hey, they're in. As you said, they're okay. in there. I, but I'm just saying, if you're going to talk about people most likely to make that run, I've got them a little bit lower because I just don't think they can. You think enough. the Rams can beat? I think the Rams can. Packers. And and that's why well, I obviously do too. They're close. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah, I, I noticed he turned the flip. He turned the rounds. So like but I was like, ah, oh, okay. Yeah. And and the Rams early on, as I said, when we first started. I said uh -huh. I had a worry for the Rams and they've just proved everyone wrong and they've been going about it quietly. Actually, a bit more quietly than every other team on here, bar maybe the Broncos. When y'all think about the Rams, <laughs> when y'all think about the Rams on this list mm -hmm. and what they're doing, what's the first thing that comes to mind like when you think of Rams? For me, it's coaching and Sean okay, McVay. Okay, yeah, give me more. Yeah. I, I mean, if, if you look at Sean McVay, he was potentially going to step away from the game. Mm -hmm. Players on the squad are thinking, all right, you know, we, we, we got it handed and now our head coach is about to disappear. We ain't, we're not really feeling that. And he makes a U-turn and comes back. But the narrative is the Rams don't want to do too good. Then they come up with gems like Puka Nakua. Mm -hmm. And you've got Cooper Cup. You've got the run game in the defense as well. And again, I mean, management, managing the team, being a great coach, having the chemistry with your squad. Mm -hmm. McVay's always had it. He's always had it. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think at this point, again, we come back to the same thing. This point in the season, I think the Rams are looking strong. Um, you've got to factor in, obviously, their playoff schedule as well. But coaching, for me, and it starts at the top with them and Sean McVay, mm -hmm. they got it going on. The experience. The experience from that coaching level of being able to just go, we we know how to put a little run together. Yeah. We know how to get through this difficult period, which they have done before. Yeah, yeah but... I they do have experience, and you're right, it's important, because that experience helped turn around a young team that didn't even know how to be professionals. Like, mm -hmm. you gotta learn how to be a pro, and that's what they did. They talked about training camp with this team, where they would do drills over and over again just to get these guys to do it. They would do 20 play drives just to show them what it felt like in a game. And you're right about Sean McVay. He almost left because he thought, Man, can I do this again? The energy, uh, I don't have the resources. And he felt the team's response, which is, are oh, you gonna quit on us? Mm. Oh, oh, now it gets hard and you're gonna leave? That's it. Mm. And he didn't. And this has changed his perspective on life, on certain situations, right? The man just had a, had a child, he's yeah. starting a family, right? It's, it's you start thinking about these things. And this is why this is so cool, yeah. mm -hmm. right? The storylines of what this team has done when the chips, they didn't even have any chips. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right? Yeah. And, and how they're playing and how they're believing in themselves, it gives everybody a chance when you think about the NFL and teams on, we just have to get the formula right mm -hmm. and we got a chance. And, that, and that's why, to your point about saying who it is, man, yeah. this is, I mean, McVay, Donald, uh, Cup, Stafford, and Stafford. A healthy, like, a healthy Stafford, Stafford is uh -huh. a dangerous. Oh, right. you can win in that's the playoffs with him. Exactly. He can get hot. Yeah. And there's one thing I really like about this team is in each, in each room, right, defensive line, offensive yeah. line, right, you got a veteran yeah, with believe. young players. Mm -hmm. And that is what you come back to your point of, experience and teach you how to win. And, and you said it, watchability. Or like, if, yeah. I, if I see the Rams against someone in the playoffs, I'm like, oh, I'll tune in. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. that guy got it. That yeah. guy throwing the ball? Right. Yeah, yeah. He'll give you a chance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Aaron Donald turning it up, getting yeah. crazy. Like he does. They're doing it. Broncos. Ooh, yeah. Bronquitos. <laughs> yeah. Like, like this is a redemption arc. I got the fourth. The fourth. Broncos. And we oh, went fourth, fifth. Okay. So I don't mind that. Does that hurt? Colts at fifth. No, nah, bro. We're we, we, we going to do what we're going to do, innit? That was direct shots at you. Yeah, that, that was, was direct shots. shots. But, but my, I never take shots at anybody. You know that ain't my style. <laughs> I knew you. Don't, 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 you. don't let him put that out. He looked you dead in the eye when he turned that board. Never, don't, never, don't even never. look at I, I ain't that kind of dude, man. <laughs> I got, I, I got. <laughs> Come on, who doesn't want to see them ball out? Hey, less is best from Russ. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I definitely, the thing is about the Broncos. Do you like Russ again? I <sighs> I you do, do, don't you? I, I liked him. I like Russ. I liked him like enough Russ. to start him in fantasy. Put it that way. Okay. Um, I'm sure. Start him. Yeah, I, I did. I did. I, I had no choice. <laughs> you mentioned the Broncos, right? And you look at the start of the season; it was horrendous. All the talk was there. You know, the one and five record, yep. and then they go on a five-game winning streak. A five-game winning streak with with Russ, who they call washed. Russ, who they call can't run the ball, can't throw the ball, can't escape the pocket. 
This ain't happening. The Broncos are okay. here, man. Okay. The Broncos are here. Okay. That defense as well. Let's not forget Patrick Sertain as well. And that like defense. My, the my run favorite game. corner in the league. <laughs> the corner. Okay. The run game. Also, we need to put some respect on Cortland Sutton's name. That guy yeah, yeah. is a baller. An absolute baller. And again, the form is there. Tell him, The George. form is there. So I uh, know I've got them fifth. No, like, no, you need no, to. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> I want you to keep telling yeah, me. Yeah, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. But it's the playoffs, right? Yeah. And we know how the playoffs can go. So long as you keep winning them games, you keep putting them drafts together, you keep getting the coaching. They got a great coach up there. You said it. They have yeah. a great coach up there. They put the pieces together and you see how far they can go. But Russ I'm, has changed. Yeah, I feel like changed. he genuinely has. I think there was a point in his career where he maybe overestimated his ability okay. uh, or wanted to progress to be a different kind of quarterback. Right. And there was even the, the rumors of you know him disagreeing as how he should be played or how his team should play. And... I think a lot of people made fun of it. I mean, people in the league were openly making fun of him for the way that he rated himself. But you can't really blame a quarterback for rating themselves and wanting to be a better quarterback. The problem was he wasn't trying to be better. He was trying to be different to what his skill set was. Right. And so now he's actually got a coach that has basically gone, go back to the basics of what you can actually do. Don't try and be a Rodgers or whoever else it is. Try and be you. And that actually works. Yeah. I think the Broncos have had to reinvent themselves again. Mm. Because I think the Broncos uh, franchise and what everyone, people think in LOA, you know, people thought, and I think for a, a period of time, the Broncos felt they were entitled to just win games, turn up, win games. And I think over the time, they realized, no, we need to peel it back. We need to put in the work. So you talk about Courtland Sutton, Judy is yeah. turning into the wide receiver that we expected. They, he's getting it on both sides. The coach is working very well to go, actually, we haven't been great at the start. Let's peel this back. You know, they've had the meetings. You know, they've watched the tape. And they've gone, no, we need to put something together. And he's put together different packages to put themselves in a position where we're talking about them right now. This whole list mm. is full of great coaches, mm -hmm. isn't yeah. it? Mm. Really, great point. And, and can make, can fix something, right? What can you fix? Well, when you talk about the Texans, he can fix the defense. You talk about the Packers, he can fix the offense. Yep. The Rams, he can fix the offense. The Broncos, he can fix the offense. And the Colts, he can fix the offense. And... That's what you want to see. Yep. You want to see good quarterback play pretty much down the line. Your guy's exciting <laughs> yeah, I, with the Colts. Yeah, Minch, he's, hey, Minch, yeah. he's exciting. He yeah. makes it happen, but good quarterback play, yeah. good coaching. That's what we want in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we playoffs going to be juicy, man. It's going to be yeah, juicy. It's be good. A lot of these teams. Nobody yeah. gave no foul. Yeah, nah, nobody nah, gave nah, so, nah. Yeah, nah. nobody gave a foul. I think I didn't even want to. I didn't want to boo boo on. Yeah, it's Falcons, more for so. me. I just I'm not I'm not sold on the QB play personally. We had to choose five. Yeah, we did. We, we did. We did. Five. We did. So so this but. was this was. Hey man, the Falcons are there though. They uh get the QB situation figured out. He could be in the building. I'm if. not saying he's not. But uh, let us know what you think because we are obviously know everything and you got to go with us. <laughs> uh, Probably my list in a blend of everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for subscribing to The Punt. And if you want to see us rate our top five greatest of all time quarterbacks, click the link below.